Hey peoples, this is KPO Punk and welcome back to Cardinal Cross. It's been a while since I last played this um, due to just a bunch of bullcrap things that have been going on outside of computers. But we're going to jump into chapter 8, The Defect. And get the bin security. We're losing you. I know. Did you know the factory was occupied? Functional bits were a surprise. Who's the owner of the factory? Mathisian. Harry Mathisian, yes. Do you know him, Carol? I wish I didn't. Pisces Carol take east. Kieran and Lana go south. We'll meet at the main hall. I'm trying to. Oh, they entered a lab. And I guess they're trying to get somebody? I think? I don't know. And again, I don't do voices. Not because. You know, it's stupid and everything, but it's just because I'm doing this space and the time that I do in between each of these videos because I don't do them a whole bunch at once. It's just, I forget what voices that I used. So that's the reason why I don't do voices, in, in case you were wondering. I have no idea how long this chapter is going to be. Look at him, Robert. He's so tiny. Yes, babies are usually very small. You know, if our son becomes a smart butt like you, you're dealing with him. I'm dealing with him either way. I'm his dad. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Are you recording this? Maybe. Stop it. I didn't sleep last night thanks to our little genius here. You look beautiful. Aw. You maybe, but you don't count. How do I not count? I'm your husband. Exactly why you don't count. You're biased. You know what? Now that I look again? Yes. You look hideous to me. I hate you. So that's... That was Egon's mom. That's who that was. And then this guy in the white jacket is Videns. So that's his dad. Sir, the director wants to see you. Let her in. Busy? No. Good. I have news. I think Reynolds is in touch with his old comrades. That's impossible. He's in maximum security. Well, considering Bryce just escaped from one, I'd say your maximum security isn't as maximum as it sounds. Is that all? I'm just saying keep an eye on him, Robert. We both know what he is capable of. I've completely forgotten everything that happened in the last video. It's been so long since I've done the, any Cardinal Cross. Right. They are gone. Off the grid completely. Try 8-1. I did. They're gone. So we wait. How long have you and Egon been planning this whole thing exactly? This whole thing? You know, the two-man rebellion? Not as long as we should have. Yeah, no kidding. One would think that you wouldn't have to rush your way into a plan with your premonition software and all that. There were unpredictable circumstances. Unpredictable how? Quite. I'm sorry. I wish I could explain. Oh crap. You just don't want to. You tell him, Wiz! I don't know why I'm making her tell. Professor, I have a question. Are you trained? In various subjects, yes. The professor has two doctorates and several award-winning published works of excellence. No, I, I mean combat trained. Do you know how to fight? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm more passive-aggressive? That's curious. You look well-trained. Thanks. It's Pilates. Seriously? It's good for your health! And I don't believe in violence. Admirable, I suppose. This way. We need to shut down the Eastern Surveillance first. 
What kind of person would add separate surveillance systems on each sector? A smart one. He is paranoid. Who would break into an abandoned bot factory? Us? Right. Forget I said anything. Hmm. What? I think we already passed this corridor. Are we lost? No. Maybe. You got us lost. Great. I just made a wrong turn somewhere. Probably. Let's just keep moving, Frisky. Somewhere, somewhere we'll come up eventually. And hopefully unoccupied. Yeah, he got his butt kicked by a robot. I remember that. This has nothing to do with me. Soren... Soren is your screw-up. This has everything to do with you, Reynolds. If I lose my son because of you, you will not leave this cell alive. That is a promise. I'm not leaving this cell at all. That's how it goes. If Rose was alive... Don't you dare speak her name. Don't you dare talk about Rose. What happened to you, Robert? What happened to the man I once called a friend? I will do anything to keep my children safe. You will tell me everything you know about this Lana Price and the upcoming Cardinal Cross. Everything, Reynolds. Daddy's really angry again. Tell him stop. This should be it. Cozy. Aaron, can you hear us? Still nothing. Cover me while I shut this thing down. Inadvisable. Who the? Harry Mathiasen, at your service. May I know why you were trying to disable my security, Miss Bryce? Scared we'll find out whatever you're hiding, Mathiasen? Hardly. I'm guessing you're trying to shut down the main security system manually, through your synchronization. Clever, but not unpredictable. I expect better from you. Such a disappointment. Now you sound an awfully like, like my father. Is that so? Now if you could please answer my question. Mr. Mathiasen would like to know the purpose of your invasion, Miss Bryce. Please tell me where this is- there is an end to these guys. Not in their factory, I'd imagine. No. You never take me anywhere nice. So they got the robots. What else is happening? Where's Egon? Oh, we're bringing in this dude. I'm gonna have to get real southern on this one, aren't I? Look, sweet pea, even if I saw someone like that, I wouldn't be able to remember it. I can check my VX data if you have the time, but I can't promise you anything. How about a name? Leland. Does it ring a bell? Really? I had imagined you were familiar with them. You had a feeling? Yes, a feeling. I can always look through your client list if you'd like. It wouldn't take me much time. But it'll be quite painful for you. We don't have to be enemies, do we? No, we don't. Out the back. Tell him man must sent you. See? I had a feeling. Look at us being friends already. You're a jerk. That's what you are. I feel like we've been here before. It's because we have. How are we back here? We've been going east this whole time. Is the map outdated? No, it's a loop. I've seen it before. The intelligence headquarters on Nova Stacia is built the same way. It's called a perennial arc, Professor. I've never seen one up close. Kit, why are you always excited about things that can quite possibly harm me? Coincidence, Professor. You are easy to harm. Is that a threat? <laughs> I love Kit. Kit's amazing. This is worse than Pryon! 
Don't exaggerate. It's just a bunch of walksy, walking oxy bots. Walking oxy bots who can choke people. Just keep shooting them. No crap, Lana. Got it. Whoops. What the? Wait, turning on backup generators. Lana! Just one second. If I die because of you, I'm going to freaking kill you. Calm down. I've got this. And we're back. Let's get out of here before more of those guys show up. Sure, sissies first. <laughs> hey, now I remember why I hate you. You hate me because I stole your girlfriend. And my artifact. Oh. That's something I wasn't expecting. Why would this guy use a top-of-the-line security tech for an old Oxybot factory? He must be hiding something far more precious than a few failed Oxybot data. And of course, you already knew about this. I had my suspicions. Is being insufferable a Morian trait, or is it just the intelligence? Both, I believe. You and Egon must be very close. You're basically the same person. He is slightly less intelligent. I recorded that. He's more empathetic. Can it cat in the pan, pal? I don't know what that means. I've never heard of that phrase. I don't enjoy this any more than you, Lan. I just need a name. That's all. I don't know his name, but he is working with Libra. Or was. I don't know. All I know is he came to me looking for rare components he couldn't have found anywhere else. That doesn't help me at all. You need to help me, Lan. You need to help me. I hate it when people don't knock on my door. I hate it. Alright, where was I? Okay, hold on. Let's just... okay. Next line. Alright. You see, it's a matter of galactic security. I really am just trying to keep peace here. Yeah, I can see that. I don't want to have to use my implants, Lan. It'll be very uncomfortable for the both of us. Then I guess we'll both have to get used to it, implant junkie. No, my poor stubborn friend, you really won't get used to it. His costuming is a little weird for this guy. Excuse me. Methysian Tech. Egon, we are in the main hall. Can you read me? Yes, about oh, there. Stay safe. So, Professor, how do you know Methysian? Or Methysian? It's a long story. We have time. Am I being interrogated? Yes. Great. He paid for my scholarship and I worked for him in exchange. He's a tech company owner. Why would he need a historian? He's the collector of ancient artifacts and artwork. I worked for his appraiser for a while. For how long? For a couple of years more after I paid off my debt. Why did you leave? You must have earned way more than the university pays you. Well, he didn't exactly collect pieces for his love of the fine arts. Of course not. Weapons dealing? Warfare tech. Paid for his side projects he didn't want the government to know about. Do you think he's still doing it? Even after the bankruptcy? I think he's doing it especially after the bankruptcy. This factory is practically a showroom. Aegeus needs to know about this. Oh, do they? What do you mean? Do you think I never tried reporting it? No, that doesn't make any sense. We would have arrested the guy on the spot. Well, did you ever think that maybe Aegeus is not that clean either? I'm not an idiot, Carol, but there is a bonus for catching tax frauds. Someone else is benefiting from the tech Methysian sells on the black market. Someone with a pool in Aegeus. That's a whole lot of people, Pisces. 
A whole lot of people. There you are. How'd it go? It was mostly fine until Kira <laughs> peed himself. Hey, you promised you wouldn't tell. Paisius, while we were at the security panels, Mathaisian contacted us. Contacted you himself? Yeah, and he knew my name. Well, Mathaisian Scorp. Corp has a top-of-the-line identification technology. It wouldn't surprise me if he could scan your VX remotely. That's what I thought initially, but there is more. He said shutting down the security manually through synchronization was clever, but not unpredictable. He knows what we're doing. He says it won't work. Right, where's he gone? Where is he? Where's the first implant junkie out of the group? Oh no, we're going to this idiot. I don't care about you, Remy. I don't care that you're tied to the auditor. I want to get to the story. And so far, I don't really care about your involvement in it. Get to the part where I do care. Please. I hate it when they are stubborn. The headache. Do you have what we need? Yes and no. I don't have a name, but I have a location. Our beloved auditor is not here. Great. Should I inform Virgo's division? No. I thought not. We'll handle it quietly. If you catch him red handed, you know what you need to do. Kill the rat, clean the pantry, get rid of the evidence. Are you up to the task, Egon? Why wouldn't I be? Your history with the Auditor. So that's why you chose me. You need someone who knows him personally. Problem? None. Were they dating and then they broke up because you guys had to go do other things? Is that what happened? Alright, Aaron. Can you read us now? Yes. The jammer's down. Is everyone alright? We are fine. Run the scan. Give me a proxy. 74HX-128 is clear. On it. No. Something is not right. I'm looking. It's supposed to be here. Where is it? I'm looking, Soren. So am I. It's not here. <laughs> What's going on? What's not here? This is bad. Egon, what's happening? We are having tro trouble locating what we came here for. I'm looking through the product database. Give me a minute. Product database? Don't tell me we didn't come here for a bluffing exabot. Well... Seriously? I thought you planned for this. We did. It should have been here. Then why can't we find him? Let me answer that question for you. I'm guessing you're looking for my prototype, 0876C12-000E. Mathaisian? Don't look so confused, Miss Bryce. Yes, they were looking for an Oxybot prototype. Your friends are quite evasive about their motives. It's not their fault. That's how the intelligent works, even rogue ones. It was always unlikely you received a proper explanation. However, let me try and explain what they have been up to, from what little I could gather in my own small investigation. I have all your current locations targeted in the chart I have, which is the best example of its type, I assure you. All except the location of Miss Lefro, his lady companion, Miss Chambers. I believe they are in an exceptional vessel of some sort, with a certain very interesting target jammer. I wouldn't be able to identify them, if not for the invasion of my product database. But it's not really a jammer, is it? Because I'm the only one who produces jammers as powerful as this one, and I'm quite sure it's not one of mine. No, it's quite powerful, but unpredictable. Somehow unbalanced. You have a Howler artifact. Now why would a rogue Egon, an auditor, a Morion defector partner up with raider scavengers to come up to my closed down Oxybot factory with a Howler artifact. Surely you're not trying to steal my tech information to sell it to the highest bidder on the black market. That would be too simple. 
for you. None of you are that simple, are you, Miss Bryce? Get to the point, Mathizen. I can see that you aren't downloading any information from my database. Anyone else would have, but not you. Are you looking for something specific? Something you have no way of knowing? Unless you, it found you first. What are you looking for that is not in the factory, Mr. Lovio? I guess that's how you pronounce his name. You've been misled. Quite so. Let me clarify it for you for the rest of your team. Mr. Lefevier and the Egon are working for an oxy are looking for an oxybot, which may have true artificial intelligence. What? I was quite surprised too. My I can't read right. I was quite surprised myself too, Miss Bryce. Because we are the leading firm in artificial intelligence studies. And I can assure you, we are not there yet. All we could ever do was a highly advanced simulated intelligence using Afita's genetic algorithms. A bridge that we created into the mind of Afita. We used this simulated intelligence to study Afita and its limits through a human oxybot prototype. It was a joint research project and with the Aquarius department in the hopes of one day learning the true limits and capabilities of Afita. But over the years, the prototype showing signs of a larger glitch in the system. It was receiving and transmitting encrypted data into Afita directly, despite the massive security precautions we've taken. The Rayons wanted nothing to do with it. They shut down the program and bankrupted my company. Years of work gone. Short-sighted this. I didn't give up, of course. And how could I? It was the research of a century. So I've decided to move the prototype somewhere else safer. Somewhere I could decrypt the transmission data. Why and how it was using a non-existence proxy to send and receive messages to Nova Station without getting caught by Afita or the intelligence. To you, I believe, Mr. Lefuvio. I don't know what you mean, Mathaisian. Don't worry, I never got to decrypt the messages. It was just an educated guess. Forgive the deceptive location codes. I had to keep the prototype's whereabouts a secret. If it true if it was truly AI, I had to hide its location from every possible threat to our study, including itself. Necessary to protect the trademark, we wouldn't want other companies to start mass producing my AI, would we? Especially not before we truly understand its full capacity. He thinks he's here. In the factory. He. It calls itself a he, then. Wait, how did you trick an AI? Why? Easily. You can't trick a simple simulated intelligence as it's programmed to do one thing or the other. The most it can do is get stuck in a loop, trying to find a way to solve an endless algorithm, eventually terminating itself in the process. However, if this is really if this really was an AI, I it have to have the capacity to believe, to be fooled, tricked. I just left fabricated location codes in the system, easily accessible by someone with enough knowledge. His arrogance took care of the rest. Didn't even second guess himself, poor thing. Why are you telling all of this us all this, Mathisian? Why are we still here? Great question, Miss Delaney. I was curious about you, your purpose, about your capabilities. You are a strange group of people. I wanted to know. Now I do. Here what here's what we are going to do. I'll give you what you want. What we want? The prototype. Just like that. Just like that. I am no friend of the Morai system, Miss Bryce. I will be interesting you to see what you will do with the prototype. I would like to test its capabilities, if it truly is an artificial intelligence. I don't buy it. Why not? I believe you, and I can have quite a beneficial friendship. Think of it as a peace offering. 
But in exchange, you will do something for me. There we go. You will be the guest of honor at my upcoming party. A small gathering of my close friends. Nothing too fancy, just a casual event. Oh, what? Party. Sounds good to me. Yes, but not you, obviously. I'd like Miss Bryce to be my guest of honor. Just her and her plus one. Why Lana? Why Brooks, my old friend. She may after all be the most important person in the galaxy. Most important per- what? What in the what? Wiz, not now. Oh, don't they know? Well, that is an annoyance. I'm guessing you'll have a lot to talk about after this. Nevertheless, it is my only condition. A condition I am hoping you will fulfill. Oh, and Mr. Brooks, I will need your help for this. With what? I am hoping you will be Miss Bryce's plus one to the party. As you are the only person who knows the mannerisms and customs of a proper Mariah occasion. What's this about, Mathiasen? What are you after? You'd, ra you'd much rather ask that question to dear Miss Bryce. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a party to organize. Don't be late. You know the address. So Lana gets to dress up pretty now? <clears throat> I've never heard, even heard of this girl until Angela mentioned her. But you knew there was a second howler. Maybe, but not an identity. They don't exactly give me weekly intelligence reports in here. I just had a hunch. You are extremely muscular for someone who's been locked in a cell. And the cell doesn't even look like it gives you much to do with a workout. Or is it just like, you know, push-ups and sit-ups and squats all day? Is that the case? Is that what you do? I just had a hunch. A hunch. A hunch. When Rose installed the virus to Afita, it glitched. A temporary shutdown in one of its databases for less than a millisecond. There was almost no chance that any birth data was being transferred at that particular millisecond. It wasn't even a millisecond, Robert. You did this. We did it. With Rose. We could have fixed it. We could have found the missing file somewhere. But she wanted to keep it. She wanted to have a plan B. The first cardinal cross. It never ended. You created a howler so that it would end, wouldn't end. It was a mistake. A welcome one, but a mistake nevertheless. It wasn't on purpose, Robert. A mistake? Both of my children are following this howler, Reynolds. A howler you created. A raider howler. It's Rose's legacy. She knew we were going to fail. That's why she left the corrupt data alone. You don't understand, Robert. You don't understand the scale of the corruption. They believe it's order. They believe it's justice. Let Mariah pay for the crimes they've committed. Let this Heller do what she's supposed to do. What we're supposed to do, all of us. What about my son, Reynolds? My son. You're asking me to let him kill himself and take my daughter with him. There is a chance for completion. A chance to end it all. And what? The rayons? The intelligence? Human greed? Oppression, Robert. Tyranny. Soren has a resistant mind. He may be able to... To what? Live through the installation? Complete the installation. Rose died because we underestimated Afita. But Soren has a resistant mind. He can do this, Robert. Help your children instead of working against them. No. It's over, Ewen. You lost. You don't believe that. Or else why would you be here? At least tell me one thing, for old time's sake. Did you meet this Howler? Briefly. Did she look like what she was up for it? No. Not even close. She won't be your pawn, Reynolds. Neither should she. I never asked for a pawn. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Wait. Lana is a what? How are we just learning about this? 
We thought it would be best if we kept it to ourselves until we got to the bottom of it. Who else knows about this? Me, Aaron, and Lana. And Mathiasen, apparently. So everyone else but us. To be honest, I didn't even know what it's supposed to mean. It means you have dramatically altered all of our futures at some point and we didn't even know about it. Well, I'm sorry, Carol. It's not like I had a choice. I did, until you took it from me. A Haller's influence doesn't exactly work that way. In what way does it work, then, Aaron? I've been dying to hear a proper explanation. Haller this and Haller that, but nobody explains what the bluff it's supposed to mean. If you say Frisky here has superpowers, I'm out of here. Just listen to Aaron. It's complicated. Please calm down, everyone. Calm down. My hand is in the fate of a... A what, Carol? A raider? I didn't... No. I don't know. I need to think. And coffee. I'll be in the kitchen. Wait, Professor! Haller is what we call a glitched file in Afita's database. Usually, Afita calculates the birth and death of every being in the galaxy, including ecosystems like planets and moons, raiders, and morai. We are constantly working on its core programming to adapt and upgrade the system, perfecting the software. But still, small glitches do happen, even if rarely so. When these glitches occur, we lose primary data from the databases, a complete wipe of a certain section. That's what you call small? In the grand things scheme of things, it is. It is small, yes. The loss can be anything from material to an event, sometimes Nyx planets or stars. Most of the data can be repaired and restored in short time, thus harmless. But sometimes the corruption is more advanced and it takes a longer time to restore or repair. And if the glitch is a certain material, any item made from that material which is also which also be blocked by the system, which makes it what we call a howler artifact. Aegeus is tasked with bringing howler artifacts back to the system for re-registering, but if all fails, we have to get rid of the artifact to make sure it cannot be used against a Fita or the Morai system. Like this target jammer artifact we have. Yes. Any weapon that cannot be detected by a Fita can be carried through Morai and customs, even the nose of a station without any alert, despite the immense security measures we take, because Morai's entire network system is bound to a Fita. With its premonition software, Afita is great, incredibly powerful, but Howler artifacts are its weakness. Its only weakness. So even though they are rare, in the hands of the wrong people, they could bring the end of Afita and the Morai system eventually. Does that mean Lana can bring the end of the Morai by herself? No. Human Howlers are a different subject. More complex. A human Howler is invisible to the system. But they can also disrupt the written charts of other people. Charts? What, what kind of charts? Charts created by a Fita in someone's birth. The ones we use to read their past, future, and site profile for security purposes. So, you guys know about your futures? No, only the intelligence does. People are not notified of their futures unless they are possible future offenders. And if they are possible future offenders, they will be watched and kept out of the capital to in their entire lives. Their movements will be exceptionally restricted. Justifiably so. No, Eve, not justifiably so. We're talking about an entire system, Soren, not just a few people. You see how important it is to keep an eye on the future criminal activity if you stopped rebelling like a preteen every other minute. Whatever makes you sleep better at night, Aegeus. Oh, so I'm Aegeus now. Stop bickering. She started it. No, we didn't. This criminal activity is where the human howlers come into play. Although I have to warn you, Miss Bryce, these are entirely speculative, as there has only been two reported howlers in galactic history. A howler's data is not either in a feed as data banks or entirely corrupted, so it cannot possibly calculate a howler's life, which creates a paradox. If a Fita cannot calculate a Howler's life, it cannot calculate the lives of the people the Howler interacts with. 
The interaction will create a gap in their charts, and the charts will consistently be altering while they are with the Howler, creating many different futures at the same time. This has been recorded in the previous Howler's case, and the same thing happens with you. During our time together, I have double-checked all of our charts, and they are unpredictable, to say the least. So the moment you meet a Howler, your chart is no, is no longer relevant. Your future is no longer written in a FIDA's database, it's unknown to the intelligence. Everybody has the power to change one, another, one another's life, with or without intention. While these changes are calculated by a FITA in everyone's birth chart, a Howler's changes cannot be. A Howler's power is not a direct influence, as the change will happen on its own. But the unknown is what makes it dangerous to the system, that is a run by premonition. Nothing scares more I than the unknown. Lana, you may be the lamest chosen one in the whole galaxy. No kidding. On the contrary, as Matthysian said, you may be the most important person in the galaxy. The real reason why the system is afraid of a human howler is entirely political, Miss Bryce. The government doesn't change because they've been getting rid of any opposition before it has a chance to develop, all in the name of security. Do you think they only declare possible future offenders by their criminal intent? Overly eager conspiracy theories. Just because you don't know the whole story doesn't make it an evil conspiracy theory. Excuse me. Nobody said anything about evil. This isn't about right or wrong, Evelyn. It's about innocent people getting arrested for nothing. Anyone who may take the power away from the rounds will be sent to possible future offender section if caught early. It's filed with the data of people who have no criminal intent in their futures, or only political change. They've been using the intelligence and a FITA's premonition software to stay in power. Not good for the people. A FITA got us stuck in a loop of corruption. And the, our only way out is to get rid of it. We need to shut down a FITA for good, or it will end the galaxy. You're mad. All of you. As long as we don't give her the cold hard facts, she'll be always be against destroying a FITA. That's the thing about our facts, Egon. They're unprovable. What we do, we do what we believe is right. That's not Evelyn. Sorry to interrupt, but what do we do about Tiny Evil Man? Do we crash the party and steal the bot? Do you think he'll try to kidnap Lana now that he knows she is a howler? Use it for all kinds of evil? Something like that. Carol. I shouldn't have stormed off. It was unprofessional. Look, I know Mathesian, Mathizen as well, which I believe I do. He'll want, he will want to fund you. What, me? Fund you, your rebellion. To use the chaos your reputation will create between Moriah and, Moriah and Raiders. I don't have a reputation. Nobody even knows that I exist. That's where the party comes into play. There will be media, someone he trusts, someone who will write your story the way he wants it to be written. And why is that a bad thing? He doesn't want any side to win, Lana. He just wants chaos. Don't even think for a second he's your friend. He'll tip the intelligence. Capricorn won't buy it. Doesn't matter. He'll scare all the other rounds into acting rashly. They fear Howler, and Matthysen knows it as well. Biden's won't buy it either. I don't think he will have a say in it. If Aegeus tries to arrest Lana in that party, it will make a perfect cover for Lana's story. She will be known to the entire galaxy in a way only Mathysian will profit. What do we do? What can we do? We need Sin, Egon. Who's Sin? Who's Sin? Alright, sir. Did you ask me? Yes, Ensign. I want you to send me every file that we have on Aegeus databases about Rose Palmer and Ewan Redwolds. Specific date, sir? Anything from sections 903A to 1300E, VX recordings included. I want every transaction, every recorded message, every written document. Especially their contacts within the system. Should I contact the intelligence? No. Keep it to Aegeus files. Yes, sir.
I found the data prince. He's been here. But... Something is not right. He's leaving quite a number of prints for someone who is trying to be discreet. He's purposely getting me to follow this trail. Found out why he is trying to stall us, Egon, and do it fast. Not even a thank you? You're mean, Director. Don't get cheeky. I'll f and find the Auditor before he puts the Intelligence out of commission. Yes, ma'am. We cannot lose Hatem mines to Libra, especially now. Libra cannot be there. Uh, Libra cannot know there is a second Howler in the galaxy. They will try to use her against us. Libra is it Liberia? This young Howler is a raider, a pianer. She wouldn't dare to deal with Liberia, not while they are out killing their, her own people. If she is desperate enough, she will. Maybe we should let her and show the galaxy that the new Howler is a friend of murderers and extremists, instead of a hero that the raider people are desperately in need of. Like the way we did to Edwin Reynolds. That was Edwin Reynolds. He was a Morion by birth. Raiders would never trust him the way they trust Lana Bryce. If she chooses to become the voice of freedom, she cannot be allowed to be known publicly. We have to stop her before she reaches the people. If the galaxy knows there is a raider howler on the loose, things won't be easy as last time. Easy? We lost thousands to a war that never even started, Gemini. How could you call it easy? It will be. Against what we are about to face. You know it. You've seen it like I have. Gemini is right, Taurus. This cardinal cross is much bigger than the last one. Twelves, be with us. Panic and fear will be turned into mistakes. Mistakes can we cannot allow ourselves to make at this point. Patience will show us the right moment to act. Until then, let us watch the movements of this howler and understand what kind of person we are dealing with. With all due respect, we do not have time to wait and see anymore. We must act now, Capricorn. I'm with Gemini. We should eliminate the raider howler before she becomes a raider legend. She has a rogue Egon and a Howler artifact by her side. If we try to eliminate her now and fail, she will most certainly become that legend. But if we wait for her to make a mistake, she will be labeled as something entirely different. I don't like this. I have a bad feeling about this girl. You know, I'm usually a pacifist, but I agree with Gemini on this one. I say get rid of the girl before she realizes what power she holds against us. Do you now, Pisces? Are we into the next chapter? Ooh! He looks pretty! Alright, how do I look? Be honest. Oh. Are you sure you want to hear it? Just shoot. It looks like a cheap Mariah designer imitation. A cheap Mariah designer imitation? Are you sure about this? They'll see right through you. I don't have anything else, Wiz. Besides, I'm not going to a fashion show. You wanted me to be honest. Just... never mind. Just tell me I'm pretty. Worst case scenario, they'll make fun of you. So, nothing you aren't used to. Thanks, Wiz. But seriously, better leave the talking to the nerd. If it, this really is a trap, your strong opinions will only make things worse. I don't have strong opinions. Right. I'm not. I'm apolitical. Lena, I'm not saying it's, it's a bad thing. Just keep to yourself. They expect you to have strong opinions and they are prepared for it. Don't give them what they want. Somebody killed Len, and I'm pretty sure they are coming here, Aaron. You have to be here when he, the, the time comes. Is the device hidden? Yes, it is, but... Just keep it safe until I get there. Or until Libra, or Libera, gets here. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Who are you talking to? The director is following the trail sooner than I thought. The device is ready, but I need to leave now. Samir is in trouble. You should have never came with us. And leave you in charge? You know, having you in charge isn't that all better. It's a little better. 
We will rid the galaxy of the Morai system, Soren, and if we're lucky, Libra Libera along with it. Don't get ahead of yourself. Our priority is the system. Of course, one thing at a time. Aaron, be careful. You too. Next chapter- oh, come on. I am sure you understand the frailty of this situation. Yes, Rayon. I will prepare a small team immediately. No, not a small team. You will investigate it by yourself. By myself? But it's too delicate a matter, Director. I am giving you the data at great confidence. Or are you preoccupied with another mission? No, Rayon. Nothing as important. I will start with the investigation as soon as possible. You do realize that failure is not an option. No, sir. She is slippery, Director. The department has always been somewhat contradictory because of the nature of Pisces. Don't underestimate her. Okay. So he's... having the Director investigate Pisces. What's... We are the insignificant. Directed anonymous anonymity. We hold the weapons of hatred and fear. Yet waiting for another to pull the trigger. Okay, so that was chapter eight of Cardinal Cross. There's a lot involving Remy, because I guess he was a lover, maybe? Of the auditor, I don't fully know. Um, the news is broke. Lana tells everybody about being a howler, and we kind of get an idea of what a howler is like. Um, the game plan of Soren, aka Egon, and the auditor are announced more clearly. And in the next chapter, we will be going to a beautiful dinner party, I'm guessing, to tell the world what Lana is all about. So that's- if I have to answer those questions, that's gonna be so awful. Cause like, this- ugh. That might not be the greatest. So keep strong opinions to yourself and be a quiet voice. I- I can get that. I can definitely get behind that. Okay, so that is it for, for episode 8 of Cardinal Cross. If I remember correctly, there are 12 chapters. So we are literally just four chapters away from completing this game, which is great. I can't wait to see how this ends. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe, follow that little thing I do at the minute mark. And... Uh, I've got nothing else to say in regards to this game other than bye guys! <laughs>